This is Twit. All right, let's see, Rob. What's new? Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do some Windows stuff. What's new in crossover, Rob? I mean, this is Windows stuff, but I'm not the. <sighs> well, I'll just get into it. So, crossover <laughs> twenty five from Code Weavers is out today, and I'm proud to say that Jeff is a happy supporter of them. Jeff is the one supporting these Windows initiatives. Not me. <laughs> so we know who the real. So that he can run really, Windows on Linux. Well, not Windows, but Windows apps on Linux. He, he uses VirtualBox to run Windows on Linux for his uh, accounting software once a year. Mm -hmm. So he's probably getting around to that if he hasn't done it yet. <laughs> but <laughs> crossover. Uh, so what crossover is? It's the commercial, essentially the commercial version of Wine. You know that. It, it buying that helps pay for the development and and what this it, it sees some of the the best improvements well i'd say first but sometimes only because crossover 25 is built on top of wine in this case it's built on top of wine 10 to run windows games and apps on linux and mac os and being one of the few ways to run newer versions of Microsoft Office and Office 365 on Linux. So I hear Jeff would be the expert on this. Okay, I joke, actually. <laughs> he, he supports them. He says it quite often. He isn't actually a current user, but he thinks it's a good product to support, which so do I. Uh, anyway, this release brings more than 5,000 changes uh, with the... With, uh, this big upgrade that it also pulls in VK D3 D 1.14, Molten VK 1.2.10, Wine Mono 9.4, and, and other updates. So, yeah, you know, most, if you're talking about games, most Linux gamers do quite well with Proton. But for you shameful Mac OS users out there, Crossover is now more seamless with more settings and enhancements and it includes dx mt as a, a metal based implementation of direct 3d 11 on mac os so so there's something for you guys too i mean mac os you, you're a unix e like to so you know you're okay kind of so highlights highlights for for uh, games in this, you know, maybe you don't want to use Steam or maybe you got the game somewhere else. Oh, who knows? But there, there are some highlights. And some of these new games that it supports is Avowed, Far Cry 6, Teardown, uh, Fallout 76, Need for Speed Heat, The Last of Us Part 1, and Red Dead Redemption 2, which that's that's a good game. <laughs> I haven't played in years, but I like that game. So good to hear there's a, another way to play it on Linux now. So anyway, even if you don't need extra features from Crossover, like Jeff says, it is still good, a good company to support for their roles in Wine and Proton. So we should all strive to be more like Jeff, <laughs> except for the fact that Jeff isn't here today, but we'll forgive him for that. Um, Oh, and, and one other cool tidbit, the corporate office for Code Weavers, it's it's less than an hour away from me. It's it's like 80 miles away, I think it is, which I know for you people overseas and like the little country of uh, the UK, that's like <laughs> all the way across the country. But <laughs> that's like just down the street for us in, in the US. So anyway, if you're if you're looking for someone to hire, I, I'm not too far away. But uh, I, I like the product. I've I've used it a long time ago, and I, I don't know. I've really been meaning to try it again and to support them. But uh, I am I'm reminded of Doc Searle's take on this, on one of the great differences between the United States and other countries, <laughs> particularly in Europe. Uh, we think a hundred year old, a hundred years old is old, and they think a hundred miles or hundred kilometers is far. We sort of yeah. laugh at each other over that. Uh, all right, I uh, I'm gonna actually jump in, unless unless Ken wanted to talk about crossover, I'm gonna jump in after he's well, done with another since I do Windows -ish use, uh, story. Steam, I did want to note that this should help speed up the uh, startup time of Steam for me. 
Hmm. Uh, cross. I. No, nah, Steam doesn't use the crossover though. Yes, they do. <laughs> really, uh, they help uh, provide uh, inputs to the proton. Well, yeah. they provide inputs, but it's not directly utilized. Sometimes it is. So, some of the features are, but not. It's not the whole code base. They use features that they've learned from that, but the whole code base from from the crossover doesn't go over. Well, one of your articles, even uh, the one by. Uh, Saruv Rudra, he, that's what he says, that uh, it actually will help to give uh, Steam a faster startup time. Well, I imagine, maybe. I imagine that code will eventually make it. If it's not there, I mean, who knows? It may land in Proton first. Prob- <laughs> but if <laughs> yeah. not, it'll eventually land there, right? Like, they're not going to just sit on this patch. Uh, the game's good. The game stuff, maybe it will. But I mean, from historically, like the last thing I've heard, I, I haven't looked into this lately, but like uh, Crossover has supported a fairly recent version of Office for quite a few years now. Mm-hmm. But with with Wine, at least, maybe Proton, but I don't think Proton's going to focus on this. With the regular Wine, you still cannot do... It, it's still quite a ways behind where the the crossover was several years ago last i've heard that's probably true you know wine really doesn't like pulling in uh single application fixes they they want everything to be more like standardized and apply to everything yeah that's one way to put it uh whereas crossover they are they're all about getting individual applications like office to work so kind of makes sense yeah that's the bread and butter so, I mean, very well, maybe the game pieces of this will tra- travel over to Proton, which it probably makes sense because mm-hmm. Valve actually pays Code Weavers to for, for Proton stuff. So it's all the same people there. It makes sense for them to bring that to it. But whereas, like, the application stuff, um, well, nobody's paying them except for the crossover users. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there.